Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Super Mario Bros. 3 for the uh, Game Boy Advance. In the last part, we took on the first half of World 1, and now we're going to take on the second half of World 1, hopefully finish it in this part. That's our goal. So I mentioned in a text over in the last part that I was going to do death counters, and so far my death counter is just one, because I died once in the last part. Um, <laughs> you know, because I, I, I made a stupid mistake, but that's okay. So I'll have death counters for this um, Let's Play, so that's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, if I were to guess, right now, I by the end of this project, by the end of this Let's Play, I'd probably have around 50 or 60 deaths, honestly, I don't know, maybe even less than that, hopefully less than that, honestly, but 50 or 60, that might be an overshot, actually, but I don't know, things happen. So let's take on um, this map enemy, which is a hammer bro. So this guy's pretty easy, all you have to do is go under him and just hit the... Or whack him with his tail. Or whack him with your tail. That, that was a poor representation of how I do that. But um, that's okay. I got five far out of that though. So that's good. I always check the blocks just in case because there's items like that. Power ups. And it's really cool. So we got a hammer. So that's in our back. Well, we, oh no, we got a star. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Although I'll be using it for um a while, I guess, if I already um be honest with you. Wait, I didn't slide. Oh, that's because my D-pad's so like broken you know it's not broken it's just really bad it's not the best d-pad in the world that's the one off a of gamecube controller so it's really not that good but luckily we can get another power up right here so that's good yeah i like this music that's really nice i got another five hour nice yeah it's just what we need in mario you said it so if you go back here or if you happen to just go this the other way without having to go for that power up if you don't need it there's another hidden block right here and um yeah you can probably fly up and get a one up which i can't really do because i don't have a leaf a raccoon leaf which kind of stinks but i can get all these coins at least so that's good and maybe five flowers is really good for this all because there's a lot of piranha plants and koopas in this level too so it's not the worst thing and then i, I just caught another 100 coins so i got another one up so now we're at 16 lives pretty cool Okay, so let's get down the pipe. There's no more coins, so, you know. And from here, you can just go and finish the level. So that way, not much to do after this part. Just gotta take out these piranha plants with my fire for that way. And there we go. Okay, I wanna get a running start so I can get a star. Let's see if we do it. Yes, I got a star, nice. Cool. Now on to level 6. Okay, I definitely want a leaf if I can get one in this section. Kill these Koopas though. Here's a leaf, awesome. Because I like having the extra, the extra jump or like the extra little stalling. Because they are stalls, I guess you could say. Now, the, here's the... Um, here's the way you can get a one up. But um, it depends on which way it's going. There we go. There's a... It happened to be the going the right way. Cause sometimes when you hit the box, I think if you hit it like to the left like that, it'll go right. If you go to the and if you hit it right to like this, you'll go to the left. It's like the opposite way of your face, how you're facing the block when you hit it. I could be wrong on that, but I think that's how it goes. Feel free to correct me in the comments if you want. <laughs> Unless tell, you're telling me I was actually right with that statement, you know? Yeah, okay, so there's not much more there's not much more of this level, so yeah, I can air stall right there. Okay, let's see if I can get a running start. Got another star, awesome. Cool. I'm only hoping to get a five up soon. Here's another item house. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna choose the one on the far right. Pick a box, its contents will help you on your way. On help you on your way, yeah. Another leaf, awesome. Well, we already used one. We used the leaf in the last part, but we got another leaf. Uh, one to a place, I guess. Okay, time to take on the castle. Let's do this. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. Oh, Toad's in a panic, and then the king, the king is obviously still snake, like in the opening cutscene we saw. So, yeah, um. I like the airship music, it's really nice, especially on the NES version of this game, the airship music is probably better, which is pretty cool, but it's still cool nonetheless, in my opinion. Okay, so, you want to duck right here, oh, you, you want to duck right here, because there's a 
cool build, but if you can jump out of the way like that, then that's okay. Oh, it didn't fire, okay. Maybe because it's motion sensing. There we go. Senses your movement, kind of. Of where you kind of would go. Okay. Okay, there's a 5 off. I need it, but I don't think I'm going to get hit. So that's good. The first day ship's always really easy, so... It's not... It's, it's kind of a picnic, honestly, but sometimes it still gives you trouble sometimes, depending on how I do, you know, how I perform. But with that, we made it to the silver tube, which is where the coupling is. So let's um, go down it before we get hit, actually. I just want to show off the, that it's a scoring level and that it ends in the last section with the pipe that you saw right there. I think this is Lemmy. And with that, we got it. We defeated Lemmy. Catch the wand. I always want to try to catch the wand before it bounces off the ground. Because once it hits the ground, it bounces up. And then you can easily get it, but I want to try to catch it every time we beat an airship. So that was another level clear. Awesome. So we fall out of the sky because we were kicked out of the airship, so that's pretty cool. Then the wand magically bounces back to the king before um, he changes himself back to a king. <laughs> oh, splendid. Splendid. I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here's a letter from the princess. Toad's all happy and all that good stuff. Greetings. If you see any ghosts, they be careful. They will give chase if you turn away. I have enclosed a jewel that will help protect you. Princess Toadstool, and there's a picture of Peach. And we have a P-Wing, which I explained in the last part, but I'll explain it again. It's like a raccoon leaf, but you can infinitely fly for one level. But if you get hit, it turns into a regular raccoon leaf in the level. And then after you beat that level, it turns into a raccoon leaf, where you can just fly when you have a running start and stuff like that. So there we go. Perfect clear. World 1. World 1 perfect clear. Would you like to save this point? Yes, I would. Saving. Awesome. So here's World 2, which we'll get into the next part. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I was just, I was it at the start button, I guess. So, yeah. So, this has been then my Pokemon, not, this has been then my, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, uh, Let's Play part. And next part, we'll take on, well, the first half of World 2. So, this has been Janko again. I'm going to thank you for watching again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Super Mario Bros. 3 GBA Let's Play.